Health authorities in Uganda announced that at least 15 people had contracted the deadly Ebola virus in the capital, Kampala. Kampala becomes the sixth district to confirm the presence of the virus after the outbreak was first identified in the district of Mubend. Many fear the consequences of another lockdown. It's really bad for business because we have just encountered a lockdown for the COVID virus. So coming out of that economically, it's, it's been a very big challenge for us. So again, if they put us in a lockdown, another lockdown because of Ebola, it will be a big challenge for us to step up again. After having endured lockdowns during the COVID-19 pandemic, many who work in the informal sector cannot afford to stay home. The news is very scary, but like the government says, I think we all should follow the standard operating procedures so that we prevent the spread of this Ebola virus. What is happening now is people are dying, doctors are dying, so we all should be very vigilant and follow the set guidelines, as stated by the government. Uganda has, in the past, been praised for its handling of epidemics and pandemics. The strict measures imposed during the COVID-19 pandemic prevented a high death rate. The authorities are confident in that they can manage the current Ebola outbreak. With the experience we've had, as Uganda in managing uh, Ebola outbreaks, we have put on all that it takes, including restricted movements in the epicenter to ensure that this uh, current outbreak is controlled. The cases we are seeing, for instance, here in Kampara, are listed contacts to cases confirmed in Kasanda and Mubende. So that shows that we are on top of this game. A top World Health Organization official in Africa said last week that the outbreak was rapidly evolving. There is no proven vaccine for the Sudan strain of Ebola that's circulating in Uganda.